So there might be questions on the soil profile. Now the questions can be in the form of a multiple choice question or a multiple choice question with the diagram of the soil profile or in a short response. So uh, the soil profile, basically, you have a profile of soil that contains several horizons. And the horizons are labeled O, A, B, and C in some instances. So one way to remember O, O, then just think of organic. Then you have the rest of the al alphabet, A, B, and C. Now, horizon O is the uppermost layer where you're going to find leaves, waste, live organisms, and partially decomposed organic debris, including decomposing organisms. Then you go to horizon A, which is your topsoil. And your topsoil is going to be rich in organic matter and is usually going to be dark in color, right? It's also called a zone of leaching. So leaching is when, uh, like, material, water, it has gone through or infiltrated through the layer, right? Then you're going to have your B horizon, which is your subsoil, is also called the zone of accumulation. That's, that's where all that material, some of these nutrients are going to accumulate, right? So, for example, it says may contain soluble minerals such as calcite and arid climates, and arid climates, calcite. And horizon C is the weathered bedrock, okay? And below that is the bedrock uh, at the very bottom of the soil profile. But horizon C basically is what sometimes they call it the parent material. So in other words, let's just say that that weathered rock is made up of limestone. Then the soil above, if you will, is going to have more of a composition that's closely related to limestone. If you have the parent material that, say, for example, is basalt, an igneous rock, then the soil itself may be more basaltic. Now, sometimes, sometimes you may f have a diagram or an instance where you have this E horizon. Now, this E horizon is in between horizon A and B. So the E horizon is found in acidic soils. Uh, it's a zone of leaching or uh, alluviation in the forms, again, between A and B horizon. Here you'll find more of iron, aluminum, and dissolved organic acids from above and are transported through and removed from horizon E. And as removed materials accumulate in the B horizon. So sometimes you just have to be mindful. You have to be mindful in the diagram. Or they may give you questions where they ask you to put the the horizons in order. So again, one scenario could be O, and then the rest of the alphabet in order A, B, and C. Okay. Or in this instance right here, we have O, and then A. Just remember the E in between, and then B and C, right? Um, and again, just to, to reemphasize, uh, E in this case is a zone of leaching of metals and nutrients and occurs in some soils beneath either O horizon or the A horizon.